Are you ready, kids? Aye, 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 Captain. Captain. I can't hear you. Aye, 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 aye. Oh, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants. Sponge 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 J53518. Uh, hey, service. my name's Caleb. Justin watches movies. And WWE fan. So, of course, you guys, this is a spoiler review. So, just spoiler. be warned. So, if you haven't seen the movie yet, I would recommend that you don't watch this. But in the meantime, I know all of us have done spoiler free reviews on our own channels. So, right. if you want to check each yeah. of our uh -huh. reviews, I'll leave a link to each of those in the description below. What's all of your guys' overall thoughts on this movie? Caleb, you go first. All right. So I really liked the movie. I was a huge fan. I was a huge fan of the first uh, SpongeBob movie. It's probably one of my favorite animated movies of all time. So I had some pretty high hopes for this. I'm happy that it wasn't a direct sequel. I'm happy that they just continued on. And at the end of the day, I really like the movie. I don't think it's perfect. I think it has its flaws, but it's one of those movies that I can put in at any time and just have a fun time with it. Um, I love this movie. As like Caleb said, good job, man. This movie brought me back to what SpongeBob was about. Randomness, hilarity, and stupidity. And it encompasses all the colorfulness of it. I love the characters. And though I've been there since the villain was funny as shit, I really <laughs> thought I wanted to see Patchy the Pirate, but it's in Tom Kenny SpongeBob. I can take what I can get. It's just basically a longer episode of the series. You know, I understand, Tony, you still keep the SpongeBob spirit alive with your shirt and your hat. Seeing this brought the inner nine-year-old back in me, just being stupid and happy as the sponges with the Krabby Patty and Squidward. And talking about that formula, just like Caleb said, I'll pop it in any time I feel happy or lonely or when I feel very sad. But I love it. I grew up watching Spongebob. The first three seasons I just really loved. They were so random at times. And yeah. what what I disliked about the first movie is that it didn't really feel like Spongebob, like those shows. And what I really loved about this, the new movie is that it just brought back so many memories of the fun times. What I really loved about the Spongebob movie is that the guy says, My leg... <laughs> yes, yeah. my leg. Yeah. My leg. Uh, yeah. When they said that in the movie theater, I just I was dying. It was like there were so many things that just reminded me of the show, and I love that they had brought back all the characters. They were so misused in the first movie, so they're all there. I really love that. And the dolphin in the movie was one of the biggest what the fuck was that moments in the movie. <laughs> the dolphin Mama. like stuttering and is like is he cussing or what's going on? So the dolphin is definitely hilarious. But overall I liked that they used all the characters. They brought back a lot of references that um, big SpongeBob fans know. So overall it was a lot better than the first one, in my opinion. Well, just like basically every single person in this chat, I did grow up with Spongebob. Spongebob's my third favorite cartoon of all time. I love the show. I still watch it to this day, and I enjoyed the first movie. I really – I grew up on that first movie so much, and, you know, I lo I remember rewatching it a lot. So going into this movie, I was like, okay, please be good, and it was good. I really enjoyed it. The animation's great. Um, the voice acting's great. Some trippy moments in the film. We'll get into more on that later, but... Yeah, we will. Unlike most people, I actually do prefer the first movie over this one. Yeah, just, I agree. Just, 
Justin, there's just one thing I disagree with you on. Like how you said it doesn't. The first movie didn't really feel like SpongeBob. I liked that. I like it went with a different tone with the film. You know, it was a little bit different from the cartoon. It was a movie, so yeah. I just really, really enjoyed this movie. It was good. Good times, good times. I will definitely rewatch it again. Well, you, you all r really bring up very good points. Now, in terms of how I felt compared to the 2004 film, I think this is this one is about as equal with the first one. And then, Justin, what you said in your review, dude, I 100% agree with you. I really hated how they real, it was really more of a SpongeBob and Patrick adventure rather than all of the main characters. And that's why I definitely liked about this one, the fact that all of the main characters, at least until once, once it reached the finale, they all came together. It was all of their adventure. It wasn't just SpongeBob and Patrick. It was everyone. So that's where I agree with you on there, Justin. This movie is definitely different from the original, and that's what I really like, that it really was like an episode of SpongeBob, but an extended version. And I like that this was not a direct sequel to the original because there really was no, there really is no point to the sequel. So I thought it was very smart for the filmmakers behind this movie to keep it more into the animated series of SpongeBob. So overall, I thought the SpongeBob movie, Sponge Out of Water, was really awesome. We'll get to the 3D animation later on, but I just want to focus particularly on the 2D animation. So, Caleb, what did you think of the animation in this movie? Well, I don't know uh, if any of you guys watched it in 3D, but <clears throat> I did, and I was super, super surprised at how amazing the 2D animation looked in 3D, and it was kind of just like an eye-opening experience to me because I always have liked 2D animation, but I was kind of in the thing where I'm like, oh, 3D animation is better, but after seeing this, it was kind of like, wow, 2D animation not only still works, but it can also work for Hollywood to pop out 3D movies even in 2D. Like, just the way SpongeBob looked in 2D and 3D, I thought was better than when he comes to our world and it's 3D animated. I thought the 2D and 3D was perfect. I just want to say that. And... Just it, it, it was classic Spongebob. There were a couple weird things, I thought, with the 2D animation, like some of the ways the backgrounds looked and stuff behind the characters. I thought was a little funky at points, but overall, the 2D animation, I thought, was great. The animation, I thought, was really good, compared to what Caleb said. I did also see this in IMAX 3D. It really popped out. I mean, wow. I, was, I felt like I was sitting back home, teleporting myself back in time to when I was nine years old, Watching this show, eating cereal, I feel like I was right in front of the TV screen. The TV is not eight inches or ten inches; it's like about more than an inch. I felt the beautiful presentation brought brought upon it, and I do agree with Caleb once again. Good point, saying that Hollywood needs to really rethink what two D can do. I mean, we're at a point now where three D is the d demand, and we've had that since movies, since Avatar, and movies like. Other ones have been trying to bust out the 3D. Look, 3D is good, but it's not going to last. Sooner or later, you're going to have to chunk out a 2D movie or two to balance it all out. Now, I'm not saying this to be a rant, and I'm just giving my own thoughts, saying I love the 3D at the end. I love the 2D here. I know we'll get the 3D later, but the 2D was just the way I thought 2D would look in a movie as good as SpongeBob. Again, I grew up. We all grew up with the series. The truth is, if it's done right, if it looks right, is given to the right audience to view for entertainment and pleasure. With the 2D um, animation in here, it was it popped a lot. It was good. Um, I remember from the first one, the first the 2004 movie, it just felt different. It felt like a Hollywood cartoon. Like it just was too bright and colorful for me. Yeah, um, I even the SpongeBob is, but it just had that look for for me. Here, I think it was more toned down. Um, it looked like the cartoon, but it still popped really well. They were going a lot of different places, even in the 2D, traveling in time. So transitioning from these weird scenes of them in space and um, <laughs> back at the bottom, I think that all transitioned really well and still was able to pop and looked really nice. So I really like the 2D animation in here. Well, um, you know, I love the 2D animation in this movie. It was great. 
Justin, I do kind of agree with you with the whole that they did change the animation up for the first movie. Here's the thing, I did like that because it, it you kind of had to make it different for a Hollywood movie. But I do like that we did get the, uh, the you know, animated series animation in this film. The action scene at the beginning of this movie was awesome. Like, that was just great. It felt like I was watching Rambo for some reason. If Rambo was in a Spongebob movie, that's what <laughs> I was watching in the beginning. <laughs> yeah, really, a that. giant ketchup cannon. That's pretty yes, amazing. that was amazing. And then Patrick throwing the mayo. And it, Hold like, the mayo! <gasps> <laughs> and then Plankin's like, oh, what? They're going to stop me with me. I will say, even though the original has fantastic animation, I do think the animation in here was a little bit better just because, like what Justin pointed out, it has more of the cartoon-style animation. And the and I felt like the colors, the color schemes on the characters, they're more colorful. It feels more natural. I, I just loved how the animation looked. I mean, I, I I thought this movie had some of the best traditional animation I've ever seen. And this is not and the, I'm not just saying this because I'm a huge SpongeBob fan. I really mean that how the traditional animation was used uh, in terms of its color and its drawings, the details on the characters, it just looks fantastic. What WWE fans said, that action scene near the beginning with SpongeBob and Patrick versus Plankton, I mean, that was epic. I love how after that big sequence with Burger Beard, it just started off with that, and it's just all like, fuck yeah, this is epic right here. What did you think of Burger Beard and the seagull scenes in this movie? I am in the minority. If you guys saw my review, I thought Antonio Banderas was awful. And think what you want about it. I just did not like him in the movie. The seagulls, I, the funny thing is I thought the seagulls were fine. They were good for what they were there for. But Antonio Banderas' his burger beard was just super over the top. And the last action scene, he sort of fit in, like, because he was fighting with a bunch of cartoons. But before that, it's just like, what the heck? He's a cartoon living in our world, but he's not a cartoon. It's sort of confusing, and it's, Anto it's, it's, it's Antonio Banderas. If you saw Expendables 3, it's him, but, like, five times more cartoonish and over the top. That's literally who how he is, and... The reason I don't like him is because of that, but some people are gonna like his character because of that. So it's just yeah. my it's just my taste preferences. I just didn't care for his character. I really agree with Caleb. The first part of Burger Beard, I just thought, what the fuck am I watching? Is this SpongeBob or National Nash this is National Treasure Three, the search for some father island? I didn't gonna feel like why he was looking for the book. I feel like I think you've entered another movie. I think you gotta go past the palm tree island and then go down south to make it to Bikini Bottom, as you know by the intro of it. I thought he didn't fit a little bit, but later on I thought he fit, and he was all right. He was like Dennis Hopper as King Bowser in the Mario Super Mario Brothers movie. You all remember that piece of nope. shit? <laughs> anyway, the seagulls were funny. I thought they were there for their funny sidekickiness. Poor Kevin got burned into a chicken, which I thought was funny. He got turned into fried <laughs> seagull wings, which is funny. But... I mentioned with the Dolvin, yes. Uh, for those of you with the Dol the last bit of the movie, sorry to skip ahead in order, but the epic rap battle, I have to mention that before we continue because that was the biggest what the big, what the fuck moment, alligator moment. But it was awesome because I'm a fan of epic rap battle, and I'm a YouTuber, so. Antonio Banderas, I thought he, <laughs> at first I thought he was pretty cool. He fit in, um, but and, it kind of like, I don't know. It's weird that like most of the story didn't evolve around him, and then he kind of just popped up randomly at times. Yeah. So, and then I didn't really like the seagulls. They were kind of annoying to me at times. Mm -hmm. And then them rapping at the end, it was it was a little bit weird. I'm just like, how annoying were they? <laughs> yeah, like what is going on here? But I did like the end when they were battling him. I thought that was pretty cool. I know he was supposed to have the book and he can write whatever, but I didn't. I feel like they didn't do a good enough job explaining that book and yeah. everything. So, um, 
the fan at times, at times he just randomly popped up, so I'm just like tossed with it. So I did like his character. I like Antonio Banderas, but at times I'm just confused at what they were going to do with him. I felt like he w- it was kind of unnecessary that he was in here because it was just like every time you, he was on screen, I was like, can we just get back to SpongeBob in the game? You know, it, it was like, I don't really want to see you. Like, as soon as they start out in the film, it's like, what? What's going on? Why are we starting out with Antonio Banderas, you know? Like every time we went back to him, I was just like, let's just get back to SpongeBob. And then with those sea- seagulls, oh my goodness, those seagulls were annoying. They were, they were, they were stereotypes, basically. I swear, one was a black, one was trying to be like a black person, one was trying to be like an Asian person. It was just, it, wow, it was just, I, I thought it was okay. He was just so unnecessary as the villain, so yeah, that's just me. Um, I thought Antonio Banderas was pretty funny, but I agree with you guys. The seagulls were annoying as hell. <laughs> I pretty much agree with what most of you have been saying. Here's the thing with me, and I said this in my spoiler-free movie review. I think what they could have done is just have Burger Beard appear in the beginning, but don't have him show up again until that finale when he faces the gang. Because it's like what you guys said, every time they trans- the movie transitioned to Burger Beard and the Seagulls, I'm all like, no, no, I want to see these characters, not a bunch of pigeons making fucking poop jokes and wanting to poop on Burger Beard and them begging him to that tell the story. I just, those Seagulls did kind of get my nerves. They weren't like, oh my gosh, they drove me insane. But they're just all like, okay, you guys, you're, you're you're kind of getting on my nerves now. Just stop it. I did I'm like not- Burger <laughs> Beard, though. I like I like Burger Beard. Um, he fit well in the movie for me, but like I said, he could have appeared in just the beginning and the end. Now, the next thing I did want to bring up in the movie is the Plankton and SpongeBob dynamic. Because for the 2004 film, it was really a SpongeBob and Patrick adventure. But for most of this movie... It focused a lot on Spongebob and Plankton. So, starting with Adam, what did you think of the movie focusing on Spongebob and Plankton's dynamic? I really liked it. I actually enjoyed Spongebob and Plankton's dynamic more than Spongebob and Patrick's in the first movie. I thought, I like how it focused on Spongebob and Plankton's kind of relationship. I thought it was interesting. Like I said, I liked it a lot more than Spongebob and Patrick's relationship. I kind of disagree with Adam in the sense that I, I love what happens in this movie. I love the whole Plankton SpongeBob relationship. Like they're really awesome, but I do uh, I'm actually the exact opposite of anybody who doesn't like the fact that the that the first movie's a road trip. I love that. The the biggest flaw to me like with the way they start their little adventure together at the beginning is the fact that literally SpongeBob just out of nowhere blows up a bubble and they just fly away and then all that happens, and I get what they were going for. They were trying to make fun of, like, a fast-paced type thing, but I thought that there should have been a little more there to warrant him and Plankton going off together and figuring everything out. But after that, everything's really good, and I think they have a really cool dynamic relationship. If you guys watch the, well, you all have probably the uh, fun episode, uh, I, always <laughs> thought, I always thought that was a cool dynamic that wasn't explored enough in that episode. So I thought it was cool that they went back in this movie and went through that. But it was it was sort of a bummer to me once they go to live action that it kind of just comes to a screeching halt and they just stop with the Plankton stuff until he's Plankton. Like, I, I feel yeah. like SpongeBob would be wondering where he is. I don't know why he had to jump into his sock, why he didn't just come with them. I did think the relationship was actually good here. Again, I agree with Caleb 100%, bro. Um, they didn't explore it in fun because that's more of an episode and it was only time to discover how much they could relate to each other. But I like how they played the whole hero and villain aspect. That, like a parasitic relationship. Like, Splendor was doing good, but Plankton kind of was diabolical about it, pretending to be nice to Splendor, as he always does in the show. And, you know, you kind of see a sense of humanity for Plankton, but not really because he's diabolical, evil, one cent of genius, even messing with his robot wife, Karen. You have to kind of mention that he's a villain, and it doesn't matter if Spongebob's big or small, 
SpongeBob's kind of a very emotional guy, and he's very much the you know happy social guy. And like, does this evil just because he wants to be evil and conquer and beat Mr. Krabs? But for what the movie gave me as a relationship, it worked. And you know, I would agree it was a bummer to what Caleb said earlier about the whole advantages they could have taken. But for what I got, it's all good in the gang, bro. The name SpongeBob and Plankton sound weird together when you think about it. SpongeBob Patrick, SpongeBob Patrick. SpongeBob Plankton. At first, I was like, "Okay, this is weird that SpongeBob and Plankton are together so much," but it worked out. You got to see a different side of Plankton. He was nice, and he was, you know, he was alongside SpongeBob the whole time. And so I think it worked. It was something different that we don't get to see. Like everybody else said, the fun episode is probably one of the best episodes I've ever seen. But you know, exploring that more of a relationship with SpongeBob and Plankton was, I think, handled really well. Um, it was a d- daring move, I think, for the creators of not having it be SpongeBob and Patrick. But I think in the end, it did work out for them. It was something new, it's something fun. So I liked it. I did like their dynamic between each other. It was indeed fun. I do disagree with Adam. It doesn't even come. Cl- it doesn't even come in, like, nowhere near SpongeBob and Patrick's dynamic with each other. The first movie felt like it was dumb and dumber if it were an animated film. I'm That's being com- completely honest. Reason. I did like their dynamic. Me, Plankton has always been my favorite SpongeBob character. I think he's a misunderstood character. This, just this guy wants to, to be recognized, okay? Okay? <laughs> Just understand the poor little creature. He just wants to be recognized. This movie surprised me that I actually did that because, one, the trailers weren't even selling on that. And I think it was cool that we got a lot of SpongeBob and Plankton focus. I know most of you haven't seen the new episodes, but other than episodes like Fun, uh, some examples of episodes where I thought the SpongeBob and Plankton dynamic were strong were like in episodes like Single Cell Anniversary, where SpongeBob helps Plankton find an anniversary gift for Karen. I love how that relationship works. Or, or in that episode, Plankton's pet. I felt like this is where their dynamic together is the strongest. I love that most of the movie was focused on them. I love that the two of them got to have a time travel adventure together. That was so epic, especially with those, wow, trippy time traveling moments. <laughs> with the whole, we'll get into more yeah. of those after. <laughs> oh, no. But yeah, I really liked their dynamic. The dynamic in both the 2004 film and this film um, I love them both equally for different reasons, of course. But how this one was handled, I felt like it was one of the best aspects to hold this movie strong, in my opinion. What did you guys think of the trippy moments? What did you think yes. of the bubbles? What did you think of the What did you think of the whole Mad Max, the Shining references? Let's dig real deep into all of those things. Wait, there was a Mad Max reference? Yeah, there's a reference. I hope you like leather. I loved the time travel scenes the most out of any of the trippy moments. Those scenes made me feel like I was on drugs. I loved it. <laughs> all your kids want to be smart. Want to get some bad pot? Enjoy this movie. They were so crazy on the big screen. The lights were just like, holy shit, what is happening right now? Another really trippy scene is when uh, Plankton goes into SpongeBob's brain, and then those, like, in the Shining reference, come play with us, come play with us. That made me go, what the fuck? Why is he filled with sunshine and rainbows? That's and then crazy. he pukes out a rainbow, and <laughs> the cat comes in and just meows. It also made me go, what the fuck? The <laughs> plot flip scenes were also pretty fucking weird. <laughs> Hope you like leather. The trippy moments, I, I thought that they were just amazing. I love, like Adam said, the post-apocalyptic stuff. Like, when they go into the future, like, like I think you find out <laughs> from Patrick that it's like two days in the future or something, but he has like a full beard and he looks <laughs> like 50 years older or something. That made me uh, laugh hysterically. Um... I thought the dolphin thing was freaking hilarious. Uh, he's like the watcher or whatever. That was pretty. It didn't make a lick of sense, but it was hilarious. <laughs> lick of sense. 
<laughs> you gotta watch whole, a planet destroy. The whole part, the whole that whole sequence, I was just asking questions in my brain. That that's basically what was happening in my brain the entire time travel sequence. But still, like, I just love that whole sequence. It's trippy and as like marijuana. It's just it, it's mind boggling craziness. Uh, when we're talking about references. This isn't necessarily a reference, but I wanted to talk about it in the spoiler review. It's a very quick thing. Towards the beginning of the movie, when you see the Krusty Krab, you see Bubble Bass. Uh, one of my favorite episodes is the episode with Bubble mm -hmm. Bass. And you see him sitting in the Krabby, uh, the Krusty Krab at the beginning. I thought that was pretty cool. That yes. they're sort of referring to previous episodes, like really classic episodes. The one line that Mrs. Pop says is pretty funny, and that's my Someone had to do it. You know me, I've watched crazy animated shit. I've seen South Park. I've seen Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> Fire! I've seen, I've seen the Angry Video Game Nerd movie. Those movies don't rival to compare the mindfuckery that this movie brought to me. <laughs> I did see all the references and the Squidosaurus, which I don't know where the hell that came from. <laughs> Squidosaurus, but... <laughs> With his tiny legs, he could, tiny videos, couldn't eat the burger. Uh, I thought it was funny. This movie, I was, I felt like I was tripping balls, but no, I wasn't. But it's like, is this my childhood already? <laughs> there were kids laughing. Okay, there were kids laughing that were ten feet away from me that didn't get what was going on, and I know I was laughing the right way. Bubbles was kind of weird. It felt like a random fit in. <laughs> Bubbles, that was weird. I was like, yeah. okay, out. It was like he kept on like stuttering, but I could feel like he was cussing too. He just kept on like doing his dolphin sounds, but then him traveling back and forth with the music, that was weird. And then they had yeah. the dinosaurs, the Squidward yeah. dinosaur. Yeah. Oh yeah. Go back in time, yeah. I think the weirdest scene is when Plankton hopped into SpongeBob's brain. There was kittens at the end. I feel like I was watching Adventure Time in that moment. Don't know why. Yeah. Like, no, like the there scene there. Enter time. Sorry. that was the weirdest thing. I was like, what the hell is going on? But it's, it's a it reference a lot of fun stuff, previous SpongeBob episodes, and um, still made it weird as can be. Okay, what the what in the world did I watch when I was watching that movie? Like, the first when they first go into the time travel, I'm just like. What? It was just, what is going on? Like, where am I? Am I in the real world right now? And, and was it was he alive. And then we see Patrick with the long Gandalf beard. <laughs> and then, and they, then they go back in time again, and we see Bubbles, the most useless, unnecessary character in that entire film. That's just how I feel. Not useless. He's the one who got him to the um. Surface. Yeah, that's the only yeah, thing. Yeah, that, that's true. If it weren't for bubbles, how would they go up in the air? That's a good point. <laughs> well, I didn't mean to say useless, but that's the only really thing he did. Yeah, I, I could see what you mean by that. When Planty goes into SpongeBob's brain, it is like, what movie am I getting myself into? <laughs> Come play with us. Come play with the wait, The Shining. What? <laughs> it's so. It's so adorable. I'm gonna be sick. Blah! He pukes a rainbow. Patrick throughout the entire post-apocalyptic scenes is just like what? Patrick <laughs> was the most most insane out of all of them in those scenes. When they find Squidosaurus, it oh my goodness! Final time travel scene is is the best. I I like sniff like ten thousand pounds of cocaine. That's how I felt. <laughs> It's all about the cocaine. The cocaine. I felt, I felt like Al Pacino and Scarface. That's how it felt. <laughs> Man, just they, there were so many trippy moments in this movie. It's not even funny. Like, well, it was funny, but you know what I mean. The next time I watch this movie, I'm gonna count all the trippy scenes. Man, just, I never see that I would play a drinking game. Just, it was just so so weird. With the SpongeBob movie, Sponge Out of Water. I thought the bizarreness fit the storyline well. I love those time traveling trippy moments. I love the squid dinosaur, um, the SpongeBob brain. I agree with Justin. That might be the 
like probably just in general the the trippiest scene you could ever experience in an animated movie. Maybe period, not just in the movie in general, but maybe just period. I have seen weird shit in the series, whether it's the old seasons or new seasons, but even all of that alone does not compare to this movie. And then in terms of Bubbles, I, I honestly love Bubbles. I thought Bubbles was so entertaining. SpongeBob Plankton, they walk out all quietly. You see lights turning on, something like that. And then you see a dolphin out in outer space and go away. Hello, I am, I am Bubbles. I, I just thought that was so funny how the movie did that. And then when Bubbles told SpongeBob Plankton to pretty much look after, I think it was like Jupiter. Jupiter yeah, is really to take yeah, that, that was hilarious. And they were watching yeah, was. You, you like the gang, SpongeBob and the gang, they're looking at him going, what the fuck, is this a dolphin or something? <laughs> it's a dolphin in outer space. You have to be high as fuck. <laughs> think of oh, that's not <laughs> <funny. laughs> I swear the producers were like, the directors were like this. Yeah, they were like... Did you ever read Lobo oh, comics? We gotta like, put a dolphin in space, man. And now the scenes I know we've been all waiting to talk about. Really? What did you guys think of the 3D animation? The superhero elements at the end? And even though I know a couple of you already talked about it, the rap song with the epic rap battles at the end. Adam? I love the CGI scene. I think, like, it was just epic, badass. When they turned into the superheroes, I thought it was really awesome. It was really just energetic and crazy, full with action. I just loved it. Um, the whole CGI sequence in that movie, I just love. I love that whole CGI thing. Um, it wasn't my favorite. I still liked the 2D scenes a little more, but the CGI thing, I thought, also did add a lot to the movie at the same time. And the rap battle scene, I actually really laughed. I enjoyed that scene. I thought it was really funny. All right. So first, I have a small complaint that I didn't even talk about in my review because I was just like, nah, it doesn't even matter. But it sort of does. I saw it a second time, and I'm like, eh, this kind of makes me a little bit upset. When they first come into our world, SpongeBob is like, where are we? What is this place? And Patrick is like thinking the same thing. And I'm like, guys, have you seen the first previous movie? You were on land and you stinking wrote on David Hasselhoff's back. <laughs> That's don't cool. Don't don't forget, don't forget, your, uh, I don't agree. It's not a direct I mean, sequel to the original, though. I, I know, but it's I still on the. They mentioned it once to bring like world. World. They could have at mentioned it. Right. They could have at least mentioned, like, the first movie at least once or twice to bring this well, yeah. to it, it's not Just because it's not a direct sequel doesn't mean that it's not in the or same you know, world. Or you know what? They have gone around, even the, uh, in the series, yeah. like, like in that, that Pressure episode, although they look different when they yeah. go up on... They're they bumping. Have, yeah. friend, uh, my friend Mega Movie Man Mark brought up, it would, like, when he did, like, his trailer reaction back in July, how it would be funny if they were, like... Instead of saying, what is this place? He should have been like, Patrick, remember this place? We met David Hasselhoff here. Well, that yeah, been... yeah. Like, yeah. It, it, that just sort of bugged me. I really loved everything aside from that. Once they start roaming around and they find out what Burger Beard has been doing, uh, I thought that was really funny. But like I said in my review, I think it wasn't a gimmick. Like, the trailers, it, they used it gimmicky, but... That in the actual film, it's not a gimmick. Like they actually use the CGI usefully, and uh, the whole big battle, surprisingly enough, was actually an action-packed, like awesome set piece. I got the feels when Plankton came in and saved the day and did the whole "I'm your friend" thing. I, I got goosebumps. So it's hard for a movie to do that for me personally. So that was pretty cool. Squidward is all upset that he has to go back to normal. I thought that whole part was pretty funny. Yeah, I just really loved all the 3D stuff. I thought it was used a lot better than I thought they were going to use it. The rap song, I, I, I thought that was really cool. I love it. I thought that it was going to be the the credits, so at first, when I first was watching, I'm like, come on, you're just going to cut to this and then go to the credits, but uh, I thought it was used pretty cool. I don't really understand why it went to to the weird type of animation, I feel like it could have been better if they did it in the actual fashion of yeah. the YouTube videos. But yeah. that's really my only nitpick with it. 
I like the animations. Much of them look just like they would in 2D, but in 3D. Um, the superhero element, I think, was kind of a cool setback. You know, with them getting superpowers, the little sour notes, uh, the rodents, poor Sandy had to become a real CG squirrel. Hey, at least she's better than Alva the Chipmunk, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Krabs became Mr. Sir Pinchlot, who's like an Iron Man S superhero. I thought that was fucking awesome. <laughs> Yeah, me too. That was fucking epic. And Patrick became the power of ice cream. <laughs> no, Sam became a regular squirrel. Just it's it's so, it's best served. So I liked served. it all. It was good. I liked other superheroes, but the rap battle was just the piece of the what the fuck cake on this awesomeness. I was rapping along. I was like feeling good. <laughs> the 3D animation, the outest water scenes, I... You know, from the trailers, you think it's that that's pretty much the whole entire movie. And the poster, too, advertises like it's going to oh, be. Oh, yeah. Fun. It advertises as that movie. And that's why I think a lot of people will come out of thinking, oh, I didn't like it because it isn't what they sold it as. Yeah. But the amount of time that they did use it, they used it wisely and they used it well. It was, it was really fun. They made jokes about each other. Um,. The action sequences were pretty well done. It was really intense. It was fun. And it had that unique look to it. It's like we don't see that kind of animation ever. So with having a mixture of good 2D animation and a good 3D animation, I think it worked really well. The rap scene, um, at first, um, when the movie was just getting over with, I didn't know that it was an epic rap battle history raps thing so I was like this is really weird and then going back and looking at it I was like oh that is awesome that they did that so going back I think it's really fun justice is best served soft served Jesus Christ um, now this is one of the most false advertising films of all time it really is I'm gonna be honest they advertise this film so much as Oh, it's a 3D superhero animated film, and then it's like, that's only the third act of the film. And I feel like if someone is going to watch the movie and think, oh, we're going to get like this 3D animated, that they're going to be disappointed because of that. But besides that, the 3D was great. I love the 3D animation in this movie. It was just phenomenal. They used it wisely, like Justin said. It was great. The superhero thing... Who has to wait till May for the Avengers? You've got the spongers right here, okay? <laughs> it, it was awesome, all right? I really enjoyed that. Patrick's superpowers were the funniest. They really were. I like that they made Plankton the hero. I was like, finally, you're, this dude's getting some respect. The epic rap battle thing, I think, was kind of pointless. I, that's just me. I was like, eh. I think they shouldn't have ended the movie like that. I like the fact that they were ending the movie with the theme song. I was like, great. But then they cut to that rap battle. And I was like, no, please don't. It just felt pointless to me. So, yeah. So the movie kind of, like, to me, ended a little abruptly. Like, you see the dolphin going, that was pretty good, actually. And then the credits just rolling. You're like, wait, it's over? <laughs> yeah. The 3D animation is beautiful. It's like what Jacob said. It's what the characters would be in 2D, but in 3D. I just thought it fits so well. Um, very colorful, very vibrant, very unique, wonderful details, and how it meshes with the live-action footages. It just flows so well. The superhero at the end was so epic. We basically got our animated Avengers right here, and that was so Awesome. My fair cartoon of all time gets to be superheroes at least for 10 minutes and its second full feature. Now, here's where I get to one of my flaws with the movie, and that was the epic rap battle scene. I thought that was cool that they got the YouTubers' epic rap battles in history to do it. That was awesome. But it really did not feel necessary. If the movie would have ended two minutes earlier, it would have been fine. Like what Adam just stated, once Bubbles said, that was actually pretty good. It just abruptly cuts the end credits where you're watching the movie going, wow, that was it? So Adam, what's your final thoughts on this movie and what would you rate it overall? I thought this was a really fun, funny, clever, really well animated 
and just a really great time at the movies. It's such a fun, energetic, batshit crazy, awesome animated film. I really, really enjoyed it. I'd give this movie a 4 out of 5. A really, really fun uh, movie. Not perfect, but super awesome. Actually, I think this movie should have been released in the summer. So this summer, if you want a good movie that should have been released during that time, pop it in your Blu-ray, rent it from Redbox because it's just one of those movies. Real quick, they need to have a Blu-ray steelbook in the style of like an Avengers cover. I, I'm just saying, that needs to be a thing. Yeah. Okay, I gave it a B plus and none of my thoughts have changed, so B plus. Damn it, if you're a 90s kid and you grew up with the series, go fucking watch it. It was funny, the randomness was there, the spirit of SpongeBob will live on in this movie and the episodes that will come. I give it a 5 out of 5 on J5 Movie Meter. Thank you for letting me join you. Bye-bye. See you, buddy. Thanks, dude. Overall thoughts, I really liked the references. I really liked uh, that they used all the characters. It was weird. It worked. Had a great mixture of 2D and 3D animation. Decent Antonio Banderas scenes. Overall, I just thought it was really funny and just made me question what life is. And what the meaning of life and overall this it was very weird but still a very fun movie I gave it a B plus overall impressions this was a good movie I really enjoyed it I'm so glad it was a good movie it's like what Batman would say it's not the Spongebob movie we need it's the Spongebob movie we deserve yes it's the Spongebob movie sponge out water I'm gonna give it a B plus I really enjoyed this movie. I think it's just as good and as much fun as the 2004 film. And they're both animated movies I could rewatch. I gave it a solid three out of four stars. I think it's very deserving. So I want to thank J53518, Adam, Caleb, Justin, W, for joining this spoiler review for the SpongeBob movie, Sponge Out of Water. Sponge of Water's movie kids, parents, and stoners can all enjoy. <laughs> You guys <laughs> want, want, want to see that, that Spongebob movie again? Uh, bro, we've seen it 50 times this week. <laughs> <laughs> this is 22 Tiger Dude here. This is WWE. Justin Watches Movies. WWE Fan 0599. Uh, my name's Caleb. Check out my channel. I'm awesome. Just like all these other guys. They're cool. Thank you. And don't forget that all of us will always have oh, my God. Power. one, two, three, go, SpongeBob! Rock! Yeah!